Now let's have chapter 7, Bernoulli equation. So in Bernoulli's equation, we have to satisfy once again the formula. That is dy over dx plus y px is equal to y raised to n qx. Okay? So, we have to satisfy this equation, or we have to transform the given equation to us on this form, just like in first-ordered linear equation. So, Bernoulli's equation is almost the same as first-ordered linear equation. The only difference is this term, y raised to n. We call this Bernoulli in y. So, what will be the solution for Bernoulli's equation. We have the solution should be z is equal uh, z phi is equal to the integral of phi q r x dx plus c. Okay. That is qrx dx plus z. But what is z? z is equal to y raised to 1 minus n. And your prx is equal to 1 minus n times px. And qrx is equal to 1 minus n times qx. But what is phi? Phi is equal to e raised to the integral of p r x dx. Okay? So, this is Bernoulli in in y. How about Bernoulli in x? In x. So we have dx over dy plus x py is equal to x raised to n qy. So your z phi is equal to the integral of phi qry dy plus c. And your z is equal to x raised to 1 minus n. So your prx, a uh, pry, I mean, is equal to 1 minus n times py. And your qry is equal to 1 minus n qy. And of course, your phi is equal to e to the integral of pry dy. So this is Bernoulli and y, this is Bernoulli and x. Now let's have an example under Bernoulli's equation. Okay? So we have problem number one. Find the complete solution of dy plus y dx over x is equal to 3x square y square dx. So the first thing that we have to do here is to transform this equation into any of Bernoulli and y or Bernoulli and x. In this case, we are to divide everything by dx. So we have dy over dx plus y over x is equal to 3x square y square. Or we can have this as dy over dx plus y times 1 over x is equal to y square times 3x square. Okay? So we have transformed this in Bernoulli and y equation the standard form 
of Bernoulli and Y equation. Okay, the next thing that we have to do here is to identify your Px. So we have Px is equal to 1 over x. And your Qx is equal to 3x squared. And in this example, your n is equal to 2. This is your n. Okay? So n is equal to 2. So what will be your prx? That is 1 minus n. But what is n? n is 2. Times 1 over x. Or this is simply negative 1 over x. That is prx. And your qrx is equal to 1 minus 2 times qx. That is 3x squared. Or this is simply negative 3x squared. That will be your qrx. Okay. So what will be the value of z? Your z is equal to y raised to 1 minus n. But your n is 2. Or this is y raised to the negative 1. That will be the value of your z. How about phi? So we have e to the integral of prx. But your prx is negative 1 over x. So raised to the integral of 1 over x dx. Or this is simply e to the negative ln of x. Or this is simply e to the negative ln of x is x raised to the negative 1. Okay? So we have your phi is equal to 1 over x. That will be your phi. Now we may have the solution to the Bernoulli equation. We have z. The formula should be z times phi is equal to the integral of phi q r x dx plus c. But what is z? z is this one. Or y to the negative 1 or that is equal to 1 over y. So your z is 1 over y times phi is 1 over x is equal to the integral of phi that is 1 over x times qrx. qrx is negative 3x squared. Negative 3x squared dx plus c. Or this is 1 over xy is equal to negative 3x and square. So we have 1 uh, x square. So we have x square over 2 plus c. Or your answer should be 1 is equal to negative 3 over 2 x cube y plus c. Or we have 2 is equal to 2c minus 3x cube y. So that answers example number 1. So xy times 3x square over 2 is equal to 1. That's it. So we still have to multiply C with XY. Hanggang dito na lamang siya. So, palabasin natin yung sagot ng libro. So we have 1 over XY is equal to negative 3 X square over 2 plus C. Cross multiply tayo. We have 1 is equal to C minus 3x square over 2 times x y. So, yan ang gustong sagot ng libro. So, this answers number 1. 
So let's have example number two under Bernoulli's equation. So problem number two. Find the general solution of 3 dy over dx plus 3y over x is equal to y to the fourth times 2x to the fourth. Okay? So what we need to do here now is to divide everything by 3. So we have dy over dx plus y over x is equal to y to the fourth times 2 over 3 x to the fourth. Again, this is Bernoulli in y. So what is rpx once again? So ito yung madali dito sa Bernoulli's equation. All you have to do is to determine your px, your qx, your z with a given formula and your phi, of course. So simplifying this further, we have dy over dx plus y times 1 over x is equal to y to the fourth times three uh, 2 over 3, 2 over 3, x to the fourth. Okay? So what is your px? Our px here is 1 over x and our qx is equal to 2 over 3 x to the fourth. But what is your n? Your n is 4. n is equal to 4. Okay? Therefore, your prx is equal to 1 minus n, but your n is 4, times px, 1 over x. And this is equal to is equal to negative 3 over x. That will be our prx. Now qrx is equal to 1 minus n, that is 4, times 2 thirds x to the fourth. Or this is simply negative 2x to the fourth. That will be your qrx. So after finding prx and qrx, we may now compute for z. But z is given by the formula y raised to 1 minus n. Or this is simply y raised to negative 3 or 1 over y cube. That is z. How about phi? Phi is equal to e raised to the integral of p r x dx. Or this is e raised to the integral of p r x negative 3 over x dx. Or this is simply e to the negative 3 ln of x. Or e to the ln of x raised to the negative 3. Or your phi is simply x raised to negative 3. Or this is simply 1 over x cubed. Okay? So that will be your phi. Now let's have the solution. The solution is given by z phi the integral of phi qrx dx plus c. Okay? So your z is 1 over y cubed times your phi is 1 over x cubed is equal to the integral of phi 1 over x cubed times qrx negative 2x to the fourth dx plus c okay so we have 1 over x cubed y cubed is equal to x cubed to x to the fourth we have negative 2x the integral of negative 2x dx so this is simply negative 2 x squared over 2 plus c. Or we can have this as 1 is equal to c minus x squared since 2 and 2 cancels out times 
x cube y cube so this answers example number two okay now let's have example number three under Bernoulli's equation determine the general solution of number three Number three, determine the general solution of dx minus 2xy dy is equal to 6x cubed y square e to the negative 2y squared dy. Alright? So that is a given in problem number 3. Now let's divide everything by dy. So we have dx over dy minus 2xy is equal to x cubed times 6y squared e to the negative 2y square, that's it. Simplifying this, we have dx over dy plus x times negative 2y is equal to x cubed 6y square e to the negative 2y square. So this is ex example number 3 is Bernoulli in x. Now let's have, again, your PY. Your PY is negative to Y. Your QY is equal to 6Y square e to the negative 2Y square. Okay? What is our N here? Your N is 3. Therefore, your PRY is equal to 1 minus n, but your n is 3, times negative 2y. Or this is simply, PRY is negative 2 times negative 2 will have 4y positive. Okay? Now for QRY, we have 1 minus n, that is 3, times 6y squared e to the negative 2y square or this is simply negative 2 times 6 is negative 12 y square e to the negative 2y square that will be your pry how about your z z is equal to x raised to 1 minus n or this is simply x raised to 1 minus 3 or x raised to negative 2 or this is simply 1 over x squared that will be the value of z how about phi phi is e to the integral of p r y dy and this is e raised to the integral of p r y that is 4 y dy or this is e raised to 4y square over 2. Okay? Or this is e raised to 2y square. Positive. Okay? So that will be your fee. Our solution. We have z fee is equal to the integral of phi QRY dy plus C since this is Bernoulli in X so what is Z? C is equal to 1 over X square times phi e to the 2y square is equal to the integral of phi e to the 2y square times QRY negative 12y square e to the negative 2y square dy plus c. 
So, negative 2y uh, e to the 2y square times y e to the 2y, negative 2y square, this simply cancels. So we have e to the 2y square over x square is equal to the integral of negative 12y square dy plus c. Or we have e to the 2y square over x square is equal to negative 4y cube plus c. Okay? Or the solution should be e to the 2y square is equal to c minus 4y cube x square. So this answers problem number 3. Okay? Okay? Again, let's have problem number four under Bernoulli's equation. So find the solution of number four to ds over dt minus s over t is equal to 5 t cube s cube. Now, so we have variables that is s and t not uh, on the form we're in that we are used to in having the variables in x and y. So, para mas mapadali ang trabaho natin dito, at hindi kayo magulo o malito, you may change S and T into X and Y. So if we're going to let S be equal to X and T be equal to Y, we may transform equation number 4 into 2 dx over dy minus X over Y is equal to 5 y cube x cube so hindi kayo malilito naka x and y na uli siya okay? but don't forget to transform the equation in terms of s and t as you reach your solution kailangan maibalik natin into variables s and t on your final solution so this is now in the form of Bernoulli in x again so we have to divide everything by 2. We have dx over dy minus x over 2y is equal to 5 over 2 y cube x cube. So this is Bernoulli in x. So we have dx over dy plus x times negative 1 over 2y is equal to x cubed times 5 over 2y cubed. Okay? So what is your py? We have py is equal to negative 1 over 2y and your qy is equal to 5 over 2y cubed. What is our n? Your n is equal to 3. So your PRY, therefore, is equal to 1 minus n, that is 3, times negative 1 over 2y. Or this is simply negative 2 times 1 over 2y will give us 1 over y positive. Now for QRY. We have 1 minus 3 times 5 over 2 y cube. Or negative 2, negative 5 y cube is your QRY. So after solving for QPRY and QRY, 
let us now have the value of z. z is x raised to 1 minus n, but n is 3. Or this is x raised to negative 2, or this is simply 1 over x squared. So your phi, solution, I mean, z phi is equal to the integral of phi q r y dy plus c. Okay? Plus c. Next, what is z? z is ah, oh, wala pa tayong phi pala. So we cannot possibly have the solution yet. Let's compute for phi. Phi is equal to e to the integral of pry. But pry is 1 over y. Okay? dy. Or this is, this is simply e raised to the loan of y. Or your phi is simply y. Okay? Let us now have the solution. Since we already have the value of phi. So z, z is 1 over x times phi is y is equal to the integral of phi, that is y, times qry is negative 5y cubed dy plus c. Or this is simply y over x is equal to the integral of negative 5y to the fourth dy plus c. So y over x is equal to negative 5y to the fifth over 5 plus c. Cancel in 5. So we have y over x is equal to c minus y to the fifth or y is simply c minus y to the fifth times x. But then again, as I've told you a while ago, we cannot possibly leave our answer in terms of x and y. So, let us transform this in terms of s and t. What is your y? Your y is t. Is equal to c minus y to the fifth, or that is t to the fifth, times x, that is s. Okay? x square pala to. square or this is x square or that is s square so the answer should be t is equal to the quantity c minus t5 s square so this answers problem number 4